I know you from TV home shopping, but where did your sort of entry into representing brands on camera start? Honestly, when I was a kid. And, and I say that because I became obsessed with home shopping. I used to watch it all the time. The idea that you could sell me something through the television was like fascinating to me. So then fast forward to me moving to New York, I was working in a salon and I had a particular blow dryer. And the woman that I was working with started asking me very peculiar questions, like not your typical client would ask you these questions, right? And so as I started answering the question, she's like, why do you love this blow dryer? Like, why do you love it? And I said, I love how compact it is. I love that it has these ions that I could switch on and off and da, 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 da. And she's like, she took her glasses off and looked back, looked back at me and she's like, um, what are you doing on next, like next Thursday? And I said, I'm working. Why? She's like, I need you to go on to QVC for me. And I was like, what? And she's like, we have a guy who's launching our brand on QVC. And she's like, you're our guy. She's like, your enthusiasm, your passion, your knowledge of, of this dryer and why it's good for me. She's like, I need to have it. So that's when I got my big break. And then a week later, I was on QVC. In my quest to develop the, the global roster of live selling talent, you know, I'm trying to get everybody understanding that you can become somewhat of an expert For in a sure. lot of things as a TV home shopping host. I mean, that's what we have to do. We have to know a little bit about a lot of things. It's your expertise first mm -hmm. that got you the gig. I always say like some people say, oh, so it was like luck. Oh, so you were at the right place at the right time. Yes. And if I hadn't been prepared for that lucky moment, then I wouldn't have move through to the next home shopping experience on air, right? And so what I mean by that is if you are passionate about something, I am passionate about hair and all that that encompasses, tools, product, accessories, uh, the quality of your hair. You have to know what you're talking about, right? And you have to know it in and out because when you jump on air, I am a professional stylist, but I can't talk to you at home like I talk to my colleagues. I have to talk to you as an expert, as an authority, knowing my product, but I need to be able to communicate it to you at home so that you can understand what I'm talking about from my zone through our language together through the television, right? Communicating. How does it differ when you're speaking to a client face-to-face -face versus somebody that literally you cannot see? Engaging all forms of communication, visual, verbal, nonverbal, and you have to bucket all those. You have to ball all of those up at once, right? So if I'm with you in person, I can show you, I can have you feel, and we can pause and I can talk. But when you're live selling and let's say we have a three minute hit and we need to get all of the information in there to show you how this is gonna solve your problem you're having at home, I need to engage all of those nonverbal. So I need to be moving at all times. Even when I think the camera's not on me, I have to be moving because I need you to see movement and I need you to see hair and transformation. Then I have to be engaging my mouth so that I can help you identify or like trigger something that may be challenging for you at home to make you stop and be like, aha, I'm having that struggle as well. Let me listen to the rest of what this crazy guy has to say. So, because it sounds like it might be able to help me with my problem. Yeah, it's about identifying the pain points it's yep. about understanding customer motivations right which we mm -hmm. usually stem from want or need uh, mm -hmm. and i would argue that in the case of you know hair tools and things that make us feel great you kind of do have both motivations at play there but it's interesting that you know when i hear you talk gregory and having worked with you and in particular your niche ultimately 
when you think about the benefit, because the features are the facts, right? Here's what this blow dryer is. Here's how many mm -hmm. watts. Here's how, you know, mm -hmm. all the different technology that's going to do this, that, or the other thing. But you sell confidence. And so how do you find that balance between, you know, pushing a product mm -hmm. and tapping into that emotion, which is really ultimately what you're selling is confidence? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost is I am a home shopping customer also. So that really helps me understand, like I feel like I can climb under the fence on both sides because I get sold to as well. And when I get sold to, it's because I have been wanting something different, right? And so when I'm sharing the features, going into the benefits, I need to like ignite something that's different and unique that you may not have ever considered before, which goes back to being an expert at your product or in your field, right? I need to think about the other things you may not have considered that could help solve your problem. And so I think being a customer myself, it helps me understand a budget sensitivity, first and foremost, value. When I shop, I want value. And Don, trust, like honesty. I'll honestly speak. One of the brands that I've represented, I've represented a few brands, really tried to push me into a zone of mentioning things that that may not have done that for that type of hair. But can we just make it a general statement that's like for everybody, but it's not for everybody, right? And so I think when I feel truth coming through the screen to me, I can see it, taste it, touch it, and smell it. And I also want to deliver truth. So I'm not going to make this product amazing for everybody because it may not be including budget sensitivity or just even holding the item might be challenging for me. So I'm going to give you the features and benefits and tell you exactly who this can help and what problems it can solve. That authenticity, that building mm -hmm. of trust, which can convert into sales and most often does, but you're prepared and rightfully mm -hmm. so, to give up a sale or two for the person that the product is not right for. Ultimately, mm -hmm. and we think, I think a lot of people think, okay, let's sell as much as we can. Yes, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if people return the product because it's yeah. not as advertised, meaning it's for everyone, but not you, but I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you you weren't included. Yeah. Now, yep. that doesn't mean that you cannot make a sale to that other person, because the reality is, is that you didn't make the sale there. You didn't sacrifice your integrity as a product expert or a host mm -hmm. or a salesperson. Mm -hmm. It means that you have built such trust with the purse because you did waste their money and they will buy from you something else. Maybe some of the attachments coming up on our next blow dryer make it best for you. Or maybe some of the power coming through or the ions coming through if you're using one of those, right? This one doesn't have that, but stay tuned or coming up next, we have one that might be better for you. So I don't ever want to count somebody out, but I want to make sure that you trust me because Integrity is everything. I think once you inject your expertise in with your personality and your truth telling, I, for me, think that's the golden cell right there. It's like product price presentation. You have to have a great product, great price, but then that presentation has to be honest and authentic and engaging and nonverbal communication with verbal communication and fun. In what other ways in your life does the communication skills that live selling brings bleed into? Everything, Don. <laughs> like everything I do, you know, like what you see with me as a friend, if we're having tea, coffee together, is what you're going to get on air from me, right? So like 
I'm going to truth tell with you. I want to help problem solve with you. I'm also going to share my honesty with you and my vulnerability with you. You know what I mean? So, you know, live selling is talking to your friend. Live selling is spending time with your friend and sharing the things that you love and also some of the challenges you are having. And maybe you know something that you can share with me to help me. You know what I mean? So it, it's it's made me a better um, listener for sure, especially in my world behind the chair, a bridal consultation, um, a meeting for branding. It's made me a better listener to to help discover like i feel like i'm this like discovery person like ooh, tell me all about you so i can learn more about you so i can hear what you love and we can vibe on that and then i also love to help people as a friend i'm going to help do that that's going to be our friendship so when i'm live selling i'm talking to you friend i'm talking to my mom and my sister you know, so that really helps me when it goes into like live selling and real life. They're one and the same for me. When you're trying to solve problems in your friend's life or your family's life, and you're trying to offer solutions, now you're not selling something to them, but that's your nature is to help. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, mm -hmm. products if and brand stories revolve around the solving of a problem. I mean, a great brand will will have something that's relatable in their brand story to mm -hmm. who their mm -hmm. target customer is. How how would you like people to be in touch if they want to work with you, if they want to hire sure. you? So you can find me on my Instagram for sure. GregoryPattersonHair.com is another way to get a hold of me. Uh, smoke signals, if you prefer those, I, I can read them in the sky and we can connect. Thank you so much, Gregory. Thank you, Don. Love you. <laughs>